Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Peep This Out in this video. Jollibee, Bacon and Cheese, Chicken Sandwich Review, Peep This Out. This is the new one that he uploaded yesterday, and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize, and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. So it looks like the chicken sandwich over at good old Jollibee is getting a nice little upgrade. And guys, I'm most definitely here for it. And judging by you clicking on this video, so are you. So sit tight, because up next, I've got their all-new bacon and cheese chicken sandwich. As always, I'm Ian K, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian Kay. Stay frosty. We're right off the break. This is looking pretty small, guys. Feast your eyes on what I've got in my hands here right now. I mean, the chicken patty itself looks like it's got some height, some thickness, but overall, it's a very small chicken sandwich. Let me break this one down for you fully before we get right into it. Wow. Yes, All right, so here we go with the bacon and cheese chicken sandwich here wow. at Jollibee. And as you can see, guys, it definitely has some thickness on deck for sure, but again, very, very small overall. Let's pop the top of this buttery brioche bun and take a look underneath, and you're going to notice we have a little bit of their umami mayo. As we pan on down, it looks like we've got two full strips of bacon. Admittedly, they're a little on the fatty side. I'm not really seeing too much color in there aside from white. It is what it is. We've got a slice of melted cheese and that's all on top of their ham-breaded chicken breast filet. And that's, of course, the highlight with this one on top of the toppings, guys. But still, a very lovely situation. It's nice and thick. Underneath it, a little bit more of that umami mayo. But guys, very basic on the ingredients list for this one. But again, very, very small for $7.99. That's a little crazy. So, let's see if the flavor is going to yeah. deliver on this one. This is the all-new bacon and cheese chicken sandwich here at Jollibee. Let's peep out this flavor. So yeah, the chicken definitely has some chunkiness to it, guys, but overall, this is a That's very a small bun for $7.99, and again, that bacon is not looking like it's bacon, to be honest, guys. It kind of looks like plastic, believe it or not. It is what it is, but still, I guess it's all in the flavor, right? So let's not waste any more time on this one. Finally, one last time before we get into it, this is the all-new bacon and cheese chicken sandwich here at Jollibee. Let's peep this out. The chicken is thick. That's not bad. Wow. Well, I'm definitely liking the saltiness on top of the thickness of the chicken, guys. It is fairly juicy, believe it or not, and the coating itself is not bad either. You can see it's a really solid piece of white meat that's in there, a very lovely situation. But aside from that, I'm not really getting too much else in terms of flavor. So far, the bacon's not really there, but then again, I didn't get too much of that. But I have to say the umami mayo is not bad as well. But again, a little light in terms of the size. That's the only thing. Wow. And I know I keep coming back to the size of this, guys, but because I'm looking at the bottom of this one here, and it's just a very small piece of bread. So wow. flavor-wise, it's just okay. I mean, it's definitely not as big as Popeye's naturally there. I guess maybe it's just my luck today with getting this one, but still not too bad in terms of the overall flavor. Like I said, the saltiness is there. Let me try and get a little bit of this bacon action. Again, it's not really looking like it's real bacon. It's really, it's more white than anything else. Let's keep wow. going in. All right, there we go. It's not crispy, though. Well, the mayo's got like a buttery, creamy type of vibe to it, so I'm definitely digging that. And it complements the outer coating of the chicken pretty nicely, guys. And a little bit of the light flavor that I'm getting from the bacon is not bad, but again, it's not very vibrant. So this is just a little minor upgrade to their regular chicken sandwich as far as I'm concerned. But I gotta tell you, what I'm really missing on this one is some pickles. It really needs that on the bottom to add just a little bit more zip to it, if you really want my opinion on this one. Whoa, and wow. I don't know, maybe if this was in the $3.99 or $4.99 range, like when the chicken sandwiches were finally coming out in mass thanks to Popeyes, of course everyone had their version of it so they were kind of competing on price but with everything being so high nowadays there's really nothing that's differentiating this one outside of the fact that it's from Jollibee and I'm digging the coating actually on the chicken but again a few pickles would go a long way with this to kind of round it out I mean this is kind of reminding me of the bacon and cheese chicken sandwich over at Popeye's maybe that's why that's in the back of my head wow. but thinking back to that one that I reviewed it actually had a little bit more flavor overall and it was definitely more sizable for what it was and I believe a little bit cheaper than this too so it is what it is let's go for a few more bites on this one guys but like I said the chicken's fairly juicy it's just kind of plain overall but let's just keep going in i mean the yeah, coating is good true. the saltiness true. the flavor it's definitely jolly be goodness for sure i bet it is 
I just wish the main highlighted toppings on this one stood out just a little bit more because, again, the crispiness of the bacon is not there. It's very, very flat in terms of that, guys. And, of course, the cheese is kind of there as well, too, to kind of hold everything together. So it's just okay so far, but let's just keep going in for a couple more real quick. I think you kind of get the gist of where I'm going with this one at this point, right? It is what it is. Yeah, it is. So yeah, when it comes to the Jollibee menu, I guess it's nice to have a couple of new options on the menu. And naturally, speaking of a couple, you're going to see the next one coming up here on the channel. As you're probably seeing on the screen here right now, that Aloha situation. I can't wait to give that one a shot. But when it comes to this variation, again, like I said, it's nice to know you have an option on the menu for bacon and cheese. And while this does fill out the bun pretty nicely, the bun is overly small. And I got to say, guys, I'm saying overly because it really does feel like a value bun. So I don't think this is really worth $7.99. But it is what it is. What are you going to do? Let's go for one more bite and we'll wrap up this review with the rating coming up next. Hang on. Well, you think the bacon and the cheese would be the standout with this one, but it's actually that buttery umami mayo along with the coating of the chicken itself that's the highlight, guys. That's all you really need, to be honest, because that's where the flavor is mostly coming from. Everything else here looks like it's just for dressing, just for advertising, because it's not really too flavorful. But yeah. hey, it is what it is. Yeah, that's true. Well, I got to say, while I wasn't overly impressed with this particular one, it was just okay for what it was, guys. But if I'm going to go for a bacon and cheese chicken sandwich, at least fast food-wise, I'm definitely going to hit up Popeye's because I think that's just a better value and you're getting a little bit more for the money, naturally. But when it comes to the version over here for Jollibee, I'm going to have to give their bacon and cheese chicken sandwich just an okay 6 out of 10. I mean, it's kind of average for wow. what it is. It's okay. But like I said, very, very weak in the bacon department. It wasn't really crispy at all, and it really wasn't flavorful on top of that, aside from the melted cheese aspect of it there. But like I said, the main standouts are the umami mayo and the coating of the chicken itself and again the chicken itself is fairly juicy it is what it is but like i said guys 7.99 i'm expecting just a little bit more for what they're advertising with this one considering how it looked in the pictures it needs to be just a little bit bigger that's all i'm saying still what can you do well, you know what you guys can do? Drop some comments down below and let me know what you thought of this bacon and cheese chicken sandwich over here at Jollibee. Did it look like you... Sorry for mumbling to myself. Sorry about that, everybody. My bad. You need to run out immediately and give this one a shot. Did it look like it was worth $7.99? And if you're giving this one a go, how do you think it compares to the other guys out there, namely Popeyes? Which is your favorite out of the two? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is ENK closing out another high-quality foodie feature for you here on Peep the Side Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow, and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you want to see. I couldn't do it without you, and I seriously appreciate the love and support. Thanks again for all you do, and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys, but just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. Well, as always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up, and let me take care of this notification. I'll be right back, everybody. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody, and I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my channel, if you're all new to my channel or to Peep This Out's channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know we both post and share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. And on my channel, we are on the road to 9,000 subscribers. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the three playlists that are on my channel. And give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. I would really definitely appreciate it. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my channel as well. Also, please, everybody, I would really definitely appreciate that too. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 9,000 subscribers or more on my channel as well. Also, please, everybody, I would really definitely appreciate it. And the link to Peep This Out's original video will be down in the description down below. I just thought I'd let everybody know about that. And I'm off now. So until next time, see ya.